What's up Video Fort Nation, I'm Magic Bard and for today as you can see we're going to do the dolly zoom effect with the iPhone. Now I say iPhone because I'm an Apple user but you can also probably do this on a Samsung Galaxy or any camera phone or cell phone that shoots in 4K and I'll show you how. Now a quick little history about this it's also known as the vertical effect vertigo because Alfred Hitchcock popularized it in his movie Vertigo as you can see right here so you know the the effect what it really does is it keeps your subject or the center of the frame centered while compressing or decompressing the background okay now this should give you a dizzy or an easy feeling um, an unsettling feeling when you're watching it now this is best used in a certain plot point in your storyline where you want to evoke a strong emotional impact in your story so the nice thing about this is traditionally you would need a dolly and a zoom lens to create this effect but you know with the advent of 4k cameras you can now essentially do this effect with your iPhone or any phone that has a 4k uh, sensor in it so let's get into it and try it out take your footage and right here is mine the outdoor Bella and just bring it into a new comp and then what we're going to do is choose our in and out points so mine's going to be right about here I'm gonna press the B to set my in point and then my out point is going to be about right there so I'll press the N key and then I'm going to trim or press the um, right mouse click and trim comp to work area okay so that'll cut us down and, and create our uh, composition so basically all I did here guys is I just walked into my dog with my phone and sort of created my own dolly and as you can see she's uh, looking at the treat I have in my hand and that's really all so what you do from here is you've got your clip you walked in now what you want to do is make sure the clip is selected and click warp stabilizer okay now while this is analyzing in the background we're gonna come up to here under the stabilization and go to result and press no motion okay now most people when you're doing warp stabilizer you're always almost always always almost always <laughs> all almost always doing the smooth motion um, result which is fine I mean that that's what it's for and you do no motion when you're on a tripod so you know essentially I wasn't on a tripod I was holding my iPhone with my hands and walking into my dog but if you think about it this is a dolly so I sort of created dolly by walking towards my dog I didn't have you know the traditional dolly with wheels and all but I was um, emulating it so if you click no motion you know after effects will think that you're on a tripod which is what we were supposed to be on and it will analyze the footage based off of that I just realized I forgot to tell you if your tracker window is not open and you're like dude well, you're going way too fast I don't know how to get to warp stabilizer go to your window and click on tracker and then that'll open up your tracker window now what we want to do is get rid of these uh, black pieces and you know it's easy to do by just scaling in but let's check out what it did to our footage you know we've kind of you can see what we're going for right now and what we're going to do is take our layer and pre-comp it okay now you know I'll go with uh, Bella pre-comp one and that's my dog's name Bella so we've got our pre comp and now we can scale this in so when you use the warp stabilizer you can't it has to be your your layer has to be the size of the composition so the whole reason why I pre comp it is so that we can change our composition settings to 1920 
by 1080. And then it'll let me scale without it messing with the warp stabilizer. So what we're going to do is go into layer, new, null object, okay? And now I create a null as a reference point, okay? So this is my middle. When, when After Effects sets a null object in your composition, it puts it directly in center. So you can see this is where the center is. And now I can use that as a reference point for where I want my dog's nose to be. So let's scale this down so I can see what we're working with. And we'll bring it to, about 60 and keyframe the scale go to position by pressing P keyframe that as well and then press U to open up both keyframes so let's set a um, I want to put my dog's right part of her nose in the center so we'll move this position over To there and then we're gonna have to scale this up a bit to about here and now we're good for our ending this is our ending and now bring it to the very beginning and just make sure her nose is right on the corner of our null so we'll position it over here boom and then scale it down or scale it up actually to about I don't know it should be 150 but uh, yeah that'll work and just bring her nose over to here so now this should show what we're dealing with All right, cool so you kinda get you can kinda see it happening right now you can see this the whole back greenery kinda moving in this weird funky way as we dolly in okay and this is this is essentially that's the effect right there now you can tweak it make sure that you know her nose is always in the center cuz that that really sells it um, so I'll move that up over and I'll check it again over here in the middle so move her nose over again and you don't have to mess with the scale in these middle parts just at the beginning and the end okay and um, I'll do it over here as well boom and boom so how are we looking good good a little bit more stable I like that and I'll turn that null off and guys we're golden this is how you do the dolly zoom effect with an iPhone 7 now of course um, you can tweak this finesse it um, spend more time on it and make it look real sexy but I just kinda wanted to show you an overview of how you could do this by yourself with your cell phone I mean that's pretty cool um, you know what you could do is get a chair with rollers on it and that's essentially your dolly and just have someone push you and then you don't have to worry about the shaking like what I had as I was walking um, towards my dog and you guys will be good to go so that's the dolly zoom effect here really quickly before I end this off um, if you want to speed it up um, just enable time remapping what I would do is select our two guys right here go into layer pre-comp which is basically pre-composing this again um, and then right click on your layer go into time enable time remapping and then to really sell it sell the effect even more bring this keyframe over here so that'll speed it up as as we saw in the uh, jaws here let's bring that one up again um, where is that right here in the jaws effect when he did the dolly zoom it was super quick you see that so you can speed it up that way and now you've got now you've got it going down really quick 
It's a lot faster. Um, it's really up to you. That's a stylistic choice, but I just wanted to show you that really quick. And that's it, guys. That's the dolly zoom effect you can do on your iPhone or Samsung Galaxy or any 4K camera that you have, Sony a7S II, GH5, um, the new Sony A9 that just came out, I think. And uh, yeah, there you go. All in After Effects, uh, you're good to do it. All right, guys, so I hope this effect helped you out. If it did, please leave us a like and let us know in the comments if there's anything we can do to help you with your visual effects and editing journey. Maybe there's something you found on Facebook or Instagram that you'd like to know more about, a certain movie magic trick or that kind of stuff. If there is, let us know in the comments. Please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, Video Fort, and you'll see us for more. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Video Fort. I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you on the next one.